Hi everyone, Deb here. I am um, here to share and unbox my June 2023 Welcome in Paper Pumpkin Kit. This was going to be my last one. However, today, which is June 21st, Stampin' Up! was having a no shipping day unbeknownst to me until today although my demonstrator did send an email out and i just didn't read it till today anyway today is free shipping day so i um went ahead and did a six month subscription to paper pumpkin and the prepaid you normally i think have to pay shipping also but it's free shipping day so my whole six months will be free shipping i hope it works like that and i got a few other things like um uh trimmer blades and glue and you know stuff like that a pack of envelopes um and i think one embossing folder i got is a stampin rewards anyway um i digress so i i opened this but i haven't taken out the main part and i'll say right away i know this coordinates with their one suite i think it's called country inn this one's called Welcome In. I don't have that suite or the dies. So I'll be looking for other things to coordinate it with. So it came with, um, see I have it out of order. It came with this stamp set. Now, before I knew what it went with, I bought this coordinating die. And when I first opened this, I was really confused because how it came, and you see I tore it, was like this. I'm like, well, it didn't feel like anything was there, you know? I said, welcome in dies. I expected to see them on the back here. They were inside of it. So I cut it and, um, and did that. And I don't know, this looks to me to be a little bit smaller. Like it'll cut, well, I can't tell because the stamp has a little clear line around the bottom. Maybe if I put it on this side and do this. I think it'll cut real close so there won't be white edge. It might cut some of the stamping off. I'm not 100% positive but I thought that was really pretty with the flowers on it and then here's some greenery that can go in it and this flower um, and some little squiggly thing here. I don't know what that is and then also with the dies I guess um, I guess this little one cuts out this flower. We'll, we'll test it. And then this um, has to be a standalone leaf because I don't see it on the stamp set. And then it says, welcome, thank you for your hospitality and your invited and friend. Honestly, I probably won't use those sentiments. So we'll see. Um, we got a Knight of Navy stamping spot. I kind of was thinking we'd get boho blue but that's okay because I don't use the spots that much so I'll put that in with my spots. I, they're good to use when you use a stamping platform so you don't get ink all over your platform glass or plastic or whatever it is. Um, and this says extend your crafting. The add-on which I just showed you right here. I don't think this actually said welcome in on the website so but it just popped up in my screen a month or whenever I did my last order and um, yeah uh, and then it goes with the yeah countryside in sweet so and that has different papers and uh, we'll so we'll see and then on the back of that this looks like what next month will be with beach and it looks like a little crab and a starfish and a shell and some surfboards spend a day at the beach with this fun filled summer kit it does look like a pretty a pretty cool kit so i'll be getting that in the next six <laughs> okay now let me put that aside and let's open the rest of this and um because i don't have that sweet you know i like to make oh this was from the oh did i put oh silly me we're going to need the stamp set and the dies. <laughs> okay, we'll put them aside. Um, because I didn't, I don't have that suite. I'll be looking for scraps and 
other things to coordinate with this to make alternatives, right? And um, that's, you might be getting an extra crafting with kits here this month. Because I feel like I want to use this like now and um, maybe I get inspired and don't want to add it back to my shelf since I just got one off my shelf. <laughs> so that's kind of going to be my new goal is to use these up as I get them. All right, so here are the cards it makes. They're very pretty. They're very pretty just as they are. I like all of them, actually. So let's look. We got some tear and tape. Let's see what's in here. I see some, um, I guess, dimensionals. We have some, uh, they're either Knight of Navy or possibly Starry Sky. I think they're Knight of Navy or Misty Moonlight, I should say. We'll check the colors in a minute. Oh, we have strips this time. Oh yeah, two sizes of uh, strips. These are cut in half so that they bend like that. And um, these are a little bit longer. Hmm. Are we making shaker cards? Maybe they're just to put these on because they're long pieces. We'll find out. Huh. I always can use these. I use them for my jewelry stuff. <laughs> all right, so here we have envelopes. They all look to be the same. And they're white on the inside, yeah. So the only decorations, or if we want to use them for paper, we'd have to use the flap and this piece here. So maybe we won't do that this time. Well, maybe one of them we might cut up, because I think this coordinates with one of the designer papers. Um, I don't know. I don't have it. Oh, no, well, actually, it's probably just like this, right? something like this i think i saw when the demonstrators were showing it so they're front and back so probably what i'll be doing is leaving the envelopes whole and um, at least cutting these in half if not more to and using cardstock um, so i guess this is boho blue it looks almost gray though to me i don't know and then we got these, um, these are beautiful. These vases or vases or pots, however you want to say it. Ooh, I just thought of something else I might be able to use with it for alternates um, when I said that. And then there's three of those sheets and then there's probably three of these too. Nope, there's two of these sheets with these uh, flowers. And I guess here you'd have to stamp the vase or the pot or whatever you want to call it or maybe we'd go with that one i don't know and then this color i think is calypso coral be easier if i just read the yeah that looks like calypso coral to me and that probably is daffodil delight or crushed curry i don't think it's the lemon lolly the new um yeah so there's three of these and then oh there's some white vases you punch out of here and then this is a border and then there's a hello friend label that i'll probably use and um, some more of those flowers but um, they're on a larger so i guess this frame goes around this this white piece here because that's all white there's three of those i do like these patterns i actually like that calypso coral one and then looks like we have plain uh knight of navy i'm gonna guess because it looks darker than misty moonlight and it doesn't look like the right color uh, starry sky and then we have three of these long flag banners Three skinny of the blue ones. Is that bo? That doesn't look like boho blue either. That looks more like, uh, yeah, it's not. Um, I don't know what color that is. Uh, balmy blue? Balmy blue, I think. We'll leave that out. And then there's these with 
uh, a yellow on. Hmm. It's either Daffodil Delight or Crush Curry. So let's take a peek and see what colors it actually is instead of me guessing here. Balmy blue, yes. Calypso Coral. It is Daffodil Delight. Uh, early Espresso. Hmm. Trying to see where Early Espresso is. I really don't see it. I don't know. Uh, Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. So here's our color palette. I don't see where that is actually. Um, and then of course they give you alternatives on the back. That one's really cute how they staggered it. I don't really care for that one. They made a little treat pouch or something here. And that's a little three by three, which I could do some of something like that. Huh. All right, so I'm gonna get organized. I'm gonna try and pull some scraps or other designer papers that might coordinate with this, maybe, um, especially with the dark blue. And then I'll come back and let's make some cards together. Um, I might set aside the pieces to make one each of these because I actually think they're very pretty. So, um, but I don't think I'll do them on camera because Stampin' Up! always has a video and all the demonstrators do. But I want to try alternatives. So I'll get my stuff together and I'll come back. See you in a few. Hi everyone. So as you can see, I have quite a mess on my desk. <laughs> I just went pulling random things to see what I might be able to use with this. Uh, the one I don't have the most for is this, but I think I have a few things. And actually, I just found this scrap, which it's not Calypso Coral. I think it's Terracotta Tile, um, but it looks pretty good with that. So I'm going to leave that out. That's out of the Tasteful Textile 3D Retired. But I also found this um, brick and mortar. I don't know if that's retired or not. Pretty flowers. I might not use that one because the flowers are bigger. Um, gingham, which I love. And also I have this all to new wicker texture, which I don't think I've used yet, but I thought that would make a nice background. Also, um, I don't like the sentiments in this because it's like um, thanking you for your hospitality and welcome. I don't know what I'd use those for in cards. So I brought out Quiet Meadow for thinking of you and maybe some of the dyes. Go to greetings because it's got thank you, which I need more of, and thinking of you, and also happy birthday, or just a note. Those I like. I brought out Earth and Textures because it also has pottery, right? Um, I don't know if the paper has anything in it we'll use, but maybe just this thank you. And Wildflower Path, which also has happy birthday and thank you and some dainty-ish uh, flowers. So those are the stamp sets I brought out, plus the one from the kit. So then I went digging through my scraps. I don't know about this one, but I was kind of thinking it might go with that Clips of Coral. That's an iffy one. But I found this. I think this was from a mini catalog or a celebration. I don't remember the name of it. But isn't that like the same colorways and stuff? So I think we are going to use that. I did find this. Also, this was from some kind of party paper but this looks like calypso coral so i think we're gonna do something there and i have this strip that has i think that's night of navy and i thought maybe we could do something with that so those we're definitely going to use but um i also found in some current papers this is from the gone fishing paper you can see it has fish on the other side and this is boho blue i love this side and i think i'm going to make use of this maybe with this pattern here or something isn't that pretty together 
So I think we're definitely going to do something with that, maybe first even. And also in the masterfully made set of papers, it didn't really have a whole lot of the colors, but this is Knight of Navy. And this um, supposedly has Knight of Navy. And since we have some plain backgrounds, I'm eh, not too sure about that one. Well, actually, I think maybe this one. But I'm not too sure about these two. I think I'd rather go with that one there and use some scraps up. I have a ton of scraps, people. And let me see. Was there anything else? Um, yes. <laughs> There's this masculine paper, but I have a scrap in it. I, what is this called? Well suited. I think this just retired. But look at that. That will go pretty with it too. And that color is Knight of Navy and Pacific Point, which just retired. But you know what? That's a scrap. And it does have some other navy in here but it's more masculine and stripes and stuff and I don't want to use that but I think I want to use this scrap I want to see if I have another one of those I mean there's some plaids and stuff but no I think that's the <laughs> I must have loved that piece because that looks like the only piece left unless it's on the back of one of these I mean there's um this too that could make, make a nice background actually um, I still have the stamp set that goes with this, too. Anyway, I might use those. Um, and I think that's enough. I did bring out... Um, oh, also... Sun prints. I think I'm not going to use that, though, this time. And... Um, Hues of Happiness. Now, this one... I might... Because I think a little vase on that would be really cute. And it probably has Daffodil Delight in there. Let me look. Uh, yes, it does. So some of that yellow is Daffodil Delight. So I think I will use that. Um, and there was one other one. Let's see. Oh. Um, this is out of Pattern Party, which I think just retired. Um, I think that's Misty Moonlight, but you know what? I'm not feeling that, so I think we'll leave that alone. And I didn't find any other ones in here that um, really spoke to me with this kit. So, huh, that's enough, right? So I'm going to cut some card bases and kind of organize my ideas, and um, I'll come back. Bye for now.